going to show you how to make paneer the best way. It will come soft. It will not disintegrate when you fry or when you add directly into the curry. I'll show you exactly the quantity you need and the exact step that you will need to make this paneer. So let's get started. I have one gallon whole milk. I'm going to add this milk. Don't throw this bottle into trash yet. We are going to use this bottle in the later steps. Turn it on and we'll put it into medium. While the milk is heating up, let's prepare the other thing. So we have to use some kind of acid to make the paneer. So either you can use lemon or lime or vinegar. So lemon is the most expensive one out of these three and vinegar is the most cheapest one. So we are going to use something in between. So I have three limes and that should be enough for one gallon of milk. So from three limes, I got about 150 ml of lime juice. We are going to use one cup of water which would be about 250 ml. So let's add the order. If you are using vinegar, then use about 20 to 30 ml of vinegar per liter of milk. So for a gallon of milk, use 75 to 125 ml of vinegar and add the same amount of water to dilute it. While milk is coming to boil, we are going to prepare to drain the milk when it is curdled. So for that, I have a muslin cloth and I have a container. So where are we gonna drain that water? And I have this steel strainer and this strainer exactly fits on top of it. So our this step is ready. Milk is boiling, I'm going to turn off the heat. So now we are going to add this warmed up lime juice slowly into this milk and rotate it in one direction slowly. And this will help the milk to curdle. Add little by little, it's forming nicely. The water is getting clearer. So look at these big chunks. So slowly stir and this is gonna form a big chunks. Look at this, so nicely curled up. So it is completely separated. All right, so let's drain out the water. And now we're going to hold this from all sides. And look at this. Twist it. Now what we are going to do we're gonna put it on this strainer, make it a little bit smaller, so weight is distributed evenly. So we have to put some weight on it, so we are going to use this bottle as a weight. So what I'm going to do is fill this bottle with water. And now on top of it, inside, I'm going to add our gallon of water. So we can see the setup here. It's a heavy one gallon of water on top of it. So it's a very heavy weight. And as you can see, the water is draining really fast. So I'll keep this for an hour to drain out the water. So meanwhile, I would like to tell you that don't throw away this way. This is full rich of protein and this is kind of a whey protein. So what I do is I use this into a soup. So instead of chicken broth, I just add this broth and the taste comes out really, really good. So it's been an hour, so let's open this. Look at this. Put a plate on top of it. I'm gonna pick up and then turn it over. Look at this. Remove the cloth. We'll cut this into four pieces. This is, you can see it's so soft. Look at the texture. So I have some cold water here, so let's add this paneer here. Now I'm going to keep this paneer into refrigerator for about an hour. This would also help the paneer to absorb little water, become moist and softer and it will also not break when you add it into the curries. So the paneer was in refrigerator for an hour. So let's look into this and cut the paneer. Alright, so it's sitting into this, so it's become a little firmer now. So before cutting, I want to weigh it. It's now 700 grams. From one gallon of whole milk of paneer, I got 700 grams of uh, paneer. As you can see, the paneer is moist and it won't break. If you want to fry the paneer for different recipes, so I would like to show you that. So look at this fried paneer, it looks so delicious and it did not break. I'm adding the fresh paneer as well and it won't break. 
All right, as you can see, it's not breaking. So this cost me about three dollars to make this paneer, and I got about seven hundred grams of paneer. So which would have cost me about ten to twelve dollars outside in a store. And this is also pretty healthy. You know what is there? It's just a pure milk, no preservatives. You also get this protein-rich way as well. I also made another video where I showed how to cut the paneer in very easy way for different recipes. So please go and watch that video as well. So try this yourself and let me know how it came out for you. Leave me your comment. Have a nice day. Hello.